Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how electrons are shared in covalent bonding. You should then be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show covalent bonding. In the last video we started looking at covalent bonding so here are two key facts that you need to learn. Firstly, covalent bonding takes place between non-metal elements. Secondly, a covalent bond is a shared pair of electrons. In this video, we're going to continue looking at small covalent molecules. These are really important and you could be asked about them in your exam. OK, let's start with water, which has a formula H2O. From this we can see that a water molecule has two atoms of hydrogen bonded to one atom of oxygen. Oxygen has eight electrons in total which means that it's got six electrons in its outer energy level. I'm showing you the oxygen atom here. Hydrogen only has one electron, so here's the hydrogen atom. Now the formula for water tells us that the water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms, so here's the second hydrogen atom. As you can see, both hydrogen atoms need one more electron to achieve a full outer energy level. However, the oxygen atom needs two more electrons. I'd like you to pause the video now and see if you can draw the energy level diagram to show covalent bonding in the water molecule. OK, so we need to overlap the energy levels for the hydrogen and oxygen atoms like this. Now, both the hydrogens and the oxygen have a full outer energy level. Remember that when atoms share a pair of electrons, we call that a covalent bond. So I'm showing you the covalent bonds here. Here are the dot cross diagram and the stick diagram for this molecule. OK, the next small covalent molecule is called ammonia, and that has the formula NH3. This tells us that ammonia has one atom of nitrogen bonded to three atoms of hydrogen. Nitrogen has got seven electrons in total, so it's got five electrons in its outer energy level, and here it is. As we've seen, hydrogen atoms only have one electron, and I'm showing the three hydrogen atoms here. So again, I'd like you to pause the video now and try and draw the covalent bonding in the ammonia molecule. OK, here's the energy level diagram for ammonia, and you can see that both the nitrogen atom and the hydrogen atoms have achieved full outer energy levels. We can see that there are three single covalent bonds in a molecule of ammonia. Here are the dot cross diagram and the stick diagram for ammonia. Hopefully you're now getting the idea that covalent bonding is relatively straightforward. Here's the final molecule in this video. This is methane, which has a formula CH4. That means that a methane molecule has one carbon atom bonded to four hydrogen atoms. Again, we know that this is a covalent molecule because both carbon and hydrogen are non-metal elements. Carbon atoms have six electrons in total, so they've got four electrons in their outer energy level, and here they are. Here are the four hydrogen atoms, and remember that hydrogen only has one electron. I'd like you to pause the video now and try and draw the covalent bonding in the methane molecule. OK, the carbon atom needs four more electrons to achieve a full outer energy level, and each hydrogen atom needs one more electron. So they can achieve this by overlapping the outer energy levels like this. And we can see that there are four single covalent bonds in a molecule of methane. Here are the dot cross diagram and the stick diagram for the methane molecule. You will find plenty of questions on covalent bonding in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, we've seen quite a few small covalent molecules so far. In the next video, we're going to look at two final small covalent molecules.